Hi guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. Um, so today I'm doing something a little bit different. I'm doing a sort of chatty Q and A. Um, I did a poll on my Instagram and Twitter. Um, by the way, if you want to follow any of my socials, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and then find my OnlyFans and other NSFW links, then go here, this place right here. Um, and you will find everything you need. Um, but yeah, I did like a poll and I was like, do people want to see more ASMR videos on my YouTube or do you want like a chatty Q&A? Um, and chatty Q&A won by like a small margin. Seems people still want my ASMR videos. Uh, and so I will continue to do that if there is demand for it. Um, but the people wanted a Q&A, so <clears throat> that's what we're gonna do. Um, so uh, before we get started, make sure you click like and subscribe. It is a free way to support me and I would really appreciate it. I did like a question sticker on my Instagram stories. And uh, to be honest, most of the questions were pretty damn filthy. Uh, so I can't answer them here. Um, but of course, if you want to ask me filthy questions, then the best thing to do would be to subscribe to my subscription pages and uh, chat to me there. Um, but yeah, first one right out the gate, something juicy. Uh, how many people have I slept with? Um, so I will tell you it is more than 10. But it is less than 50. Okay, <laughs> that's all I'm gonna say. Um, and then another question is, um, am I in a relationship? No, I am not currently in a relationship. Um, um, single, I've mostly always been single. Um, I don't know why, that's just how, how my life has gone. Is Nando's overrated or underrated? I would say it deserves the overratedness that it's got, if that makes sense. Like, it, it, it's rated correctly, I think. Um, I am a vegan, so I cannot speak to the chicken, uh, but the vegan options are pretty good. And I think they've managed to hit that sweet spot between fast food and chain restaurant like they've managed to hit that middle ground pretty damn well so uh i give them props for that um it's a pretty genius uh business model uh so yeah well done nando's another question i had was which i thought was pretty interesting was tips for losing your virginity um so look i'm 27 years old so <laughs> Like, I've been sexually active for almost 10 years, um, so virginity isn't something I've thought about for a long time. Um, but I empathise with you. Um, being a virgin when you don't want to be a virgin is pretty stressful. Um, but what I will say is you've got to think about why you are a virgin, and if you want to change that, um, address the underlying issue. So if the issue is that you're young, like you're a teenager or you're in your early 20s, which is still quite young, um, then the issue is probably just that you haven't met enough people yet. Like your world is pretty small when you're that age. And as you do things like go to university or get a job or um, travel, your world will become bigger and the opportunity to lose your virginity will come faster. Uh, no pun intended. Uh, yeah, so like don't worry about it too much. Um, if the issue is uh, you maybe are a bit older um, and you're still a virgin um, and the issue is probably maybe you're lacking self-confidence in dating and things like that and my advice to be would be to work on your self-confidence i mean i'm not a therapist so i don't really know how to do that specifically um but thing but also um like dating nowadays is harder than it used to be um i think people think with dating apps that it's actually gotten easier but i think it's gotten harder like um like nowadays like dating is more like we kind of commodify people like we kind of swipe through an app and we see like according to like f like you know how they look whether we like them or not um and i and we're kind of meeting up with complete strangers um whereas before when we would date we would meet people who are friends of friends or colleagues and so we would have like kind of like 
the universe was keeping us together somehow like uh, we had like connections with these people prior to meeting them whereas now when we're meeting complete strangers it's like hard to keep that connection going and see any success from that uh, date or relationship so um yeah i think in many ways it's harder than it used to be so um my advice would be to just get out in the real world um like take up every social opportunity that you can and um you know if your friends invite you to go somewhere go because you never know who you might meet you know go to gigs go to um uh, uh join interest groups uh whatever really um yeah but good luck to you um, another question i had was i want to see you naked um if you want to see me naked go to the link here yes and you'll find everything you need um okay so another question i had was what is your favorite and least favorite thing about being a content creator doing only fans all that jazz um so my favorite thing is my ability to be creative um and like just have fun with it really like creating content i just really enjoy um it's something i've become quite passionate about like so yeah i became really motivated to become like self-employed basically like, like i really wanted to have a job where i have well this isn't the only job i do so i'm actually a phd student um um which i i hope to finish my phd this year i'm doing a phd in social policy um but yeah so when i was at university i like dabbled in selling pictures and videos on some website like um like ages ago and i would kind of heard about like camming like webcamming um uh, like cam modeling um before but i never really knew how to do it and i always lived in a house share um with like crappy internet connections so like i didn't really know how i would go about doing it um but then when i started my phd it gave me the opportunity to live alone because i, I get a stipend from my phd like a small income and also i don't have to pay council tax uh because i'm a full-time student so um so it was a great opportunity for me to live alone and i also got a good internet connection um so yeah i started like webcamming and then um just before the pandemic actually um and so i kind of just did it like ad hoc like as a side hustle uh to my phd but then i kind of got a lot more into it and then a year ago and a year into like a year into webcamming um which was about a year ago i to start decided to open an OnlyFans and I kind of had no idea what I was doing with it like I just heard about it and I was like okay I'll try it um, um and yeah I just kind of got really into it and now I'm just a lot more invested in and having fun with creating content so currently I'm not doing live streaming anymore um on an adult website um, and I'm just doing the content creation um but yeah i just really love coming up with like fun interesting ideas and like making them come to life so yeah that's something i really enjoy um also the financial aspect is really good um you know it's a, a fun way to make money but don't get it twisted it's still a lot of work like i think this is a common misconception people have about this work is it's easy money but it's not the average only fans creator earns something like a hundred pounds a month um so you actually have to work really hard and find your niche to like stand out and like make an income that's with which you're comfortable with um so yeah that's oh also another thing that's like a good thing about this work is like when people say that i made their like day better or like i made them feel good about themselves like that's something i really enjoy um like um <laughs> like like i used to work in adult social care um in like the mental health sector and that is a job i don't ever really want to do again because it was so stressful and underpaid um but one thing i did enjoy about that job was when people said that i made them feel better like listening to them or whatever so i guess i kind of have it in me where i like ma making people feel good about themselves or whatever um so yeah that's one uh that's another positive about the job that i like um something to consider so the worst parts about it are of course 
the trolls trolls suck no one needs trolls in their life like you don't need people commenting on your videos telling you you're ugly or that you need to die or whatever <laughs> like and that's never good um but i mean anyone with any job can deal with horrible people like in retail you can deal with like you know like a karen or something speaking of karens go check out my my karen content uh, <laughs> um um but yeah um like yeah so I mean anyone knows dealing with shitty people is a shitty aspect of every job um but i mean people can be particularly brutal when they're online uh so yeah that's a crap part about it also the uncertainty of the job like of course only fans in october last year decided they didn't want adult content on the platform but then they reversed their decision um so you know like you never know what's going to happen next um or what the next big thing is or if a platform will fail um or if your social media will get taken away from you but i mean in a way it kind of keeps things exciting and you've got to keep innovating so uh yeah um but the uncertainty kind of sucks um but that's the same with any self-employed job you like you don't really know what's gonna happen next um so yeah that's why i'd also encourage you to check out my other links and not just only fans because i have some other nsfw links where i can be a bit more kink friendly um and do things where i'm <laughs> where i'm less likely to get banned for that, that if i did on only fans so uh yeah check it out um and also if you have like a bad month it's really hard not to take that personally like someone let's say who sells like jewelry has a bad month it's like oh um people don't like my art that kind of sucks but in this line of work it's like you're putting yourself and your your naked self out there and if um you're not making any money it's really hard not to take that deeply personally um but yeah i mean it comes in swings and roundabouts or whatever um and i think that's something a lot of content creators struggle with uh but yeah you have your moments like anyone does um um yeah but yeah so another question i had was it wasn't on the instagram thing but it was that um but actually in a tiktok live someone asked me this they said they wanted to try foot play with their girlfriend but they didn't know how to approach it and my advice would be just to ask um like i get a lot of people saying they want to try certain things with their significant other um but they're too nervous to bring it up or whatever um so but but they don't ask <laughs> and if you don't ask you don't get so you've got to open that line of communication and when you do it'll probably bring you closer also ask her about what she wants to try you see i'm probably coming from a warped kind of sense like the warped point of view like um i'm pretty open-minded um like nothing really shocks me um but i forget that uh, like foot fetish for a lot of people is seen as seen as really weird but to me it's actually something that's quite vanilla <laughs> um um this again wasn't a question in my instagram sticker but i get questions about my tattoos like all the time um they don't have a particular meaning a lot of them are just designs that like i saw and liked um like on instagram the artist put it up and i was like damn i like that and i want it um yeah i'm just a tattooed person and i want tattoos um like some of them like maybe had meanings when I got them, but like I kind of forgotten about them now to be honest. Um, but yeah, I have about 15 tattoos currently and yeah, I will probably get more. Um, maybe if you really want to see a tattoo tour video, that's something I can do. Uh, if so, let me know down below. Um, but yeah, thank you so much guys for watching this video. I think that's all the questions for today. Um, if you're not already, make sure you have clicked like on this video and you have subscribed and leave a comment down below if you have any other questions or anything else you want to see me do on this channel um and yeah um thanks so much for watching and don't forget to check out my other website and bye see ya